Guess who's out? Guess who's back? Slim Dog Shady. <laughs> the Rasta. Right guys, well, I'm out for a wonder. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't make the meet up last, last weekend because I was at work. Um, and Mark Wildcombs kindly invited us away on Friday up to the Cheviots, but I had family commitments all weekends, but I've managed to sneak in a little overnighter. So I'm up um, at Patterdale again. I was planning on going up Place Fell, but it's Bank Holiday Monday, Easter Monday, and the place is just jammed, packed. Um, so I've decided to come back up, well, not back up, but I'm up. Um, this side of Kirkstone Pass, you remember my last trip I was up there, Red Screes, which looks quite pleasant now in sort of bright sunshine type weather, not fog, clag, mist, snow. And the plan is to head up to here to uh, Stony Cove Pike. I don't know, I don't know how far it is, I'm not really, but I'm not in a hurry. I'm just plodding away, just nice to be out, get the dog out. Um, the main reason, one of the main reasons why I'm out is because I've just purchased, don't tell the wife, a new tent. Now, I don't know if you've seen them, the, they're called the DD Super Light Pyramid Tent. Don't use poles, you use your walking pole. Um, kilo in weight. So really what I want to do is I want to use it all through the summer. Um, but I want to give it a little bit of test now, so hoping there will be a, a bit more wind. And the forecast is later on to um, pick up to maybe 20 mile, 25 mile an hour. I just need to give it a good testing. I'm going to I'm going to keep taking it out until uh, I either say yes, it's spot on, or it fails. Because um, it's not. Let's put it this way: you'll get you'd probably get four of them for the the price of a Hilliburg solo. Go on the website, you'll see the price. Um, so they're not too bad. I bought the actual top tent and the inner mesh for the nasties. Um, so we're going to get this get up as high as we can today get it set up I'll show you when I set it up and uh, I'll give you a little walk around a little review yeah review oh, yes. but it's a, it's a cracking day uh, it's about nine degrees slight I mean slight bit of wind at the minute uh, a couple of showers we've had on the way up, but nothing overly, but there you go. So Morgan Bay in the distance there. <whistles> Come here. Come on. Come on. There's the mad dog. With his coat on. Because he's still he's still a bit cold, and he hates water. He hates water. Doesn't mind a shower, but he hates water. So we've just walked up from the valley floor, the back of this crag, following basically the uh, wall. We're just going to continue on, head up there, and across to the east. And I, to be honest, it's a lovely walk. I don't know if you'll make it out, but. The helicopters obviously drop bags of stones because they're doing the path and I'm making a superb job of it. See the rain over there in the distance. Hopefully it will not uh, 
affect us. Not yet, anyway. Lovely day. Cracking day for a wonder. Cracking day for a wonder. Mad one's enjoying himself, as always. How are you then? So I've just come across this uh, monument to uh, a guy called Mark Atkinson and his son William Atkinson. His son died in 1987 and he died in 1930. But he actually owned the uh, Kirkstone Pass in. Now, I've never ever noticed it before when I've been wandering around up here but and I don't know if you'll be able to see but there's the Kirkstone Pass in. The distance about two miles away. That's where obviously that's where I parked the car. But it's the first time I've ever noticed that. So when you're passing the Kirkstone Pass in have a look up on to the east or to your right and you'll see this monument there you go well we've arrived um, and I think I'm going to camp around here somewhere see now it's still it's only quarter past three Looking down to Brothers Water, Wolves Water. Place fell in the distance there. Angleton is just down in between those two crags. Um, just to give you a little bit of bearing of where I'm at. Um, the plan was to park in, I can't remember what it's called, some little village along here and walk up this way. But uh, like I say, because of the how busy it was and the car, how many cars were about, it was just undoable. Well, unless I hung around for a couple hours and let them get away, but uh, I couldn't be arsed with that. But it's a lovely day, so I'm going to find a pitch, um, get the tent up. Right, so anyway, there you go. There is the super light um, pyramid top tent. That is a full size gear under there, like I've got cameras and everything. But that's a full size extra large exterm. So as you can see, it's tight with regards to that. But if you look at the room you've got, you've got bags and bags of room. Bags of room. You could get two people in there with two packs, so I don't know. Maybe pushing it a bit. Nice son. What's that? A bit of meat. Um, but it goes up, as you've hopefully probably just seen, because I've done a, a video of it going up. Um, I don't know what's going on with this back corner. Um, Cause everything else seems to be taut enough. I mean it's tight once you once you put the put the doors up it's tight. Um, full mesh uh, it looks like I don't know what's going on there Mess. looks like well, the pegs come out on that corner I'll have a look um, you're supposed to 
how the back end would have vent into the wind but I wanted a bit of view in the morning and tonight so I've, I've, I've turned it sort of on its side um, now we'll see how we get on hey, you never know these things until you try it and somebody's got to try it but weight wise a kilo superb didn't even know you had in your bag um, spot on I'll come back to you later on when I'm uh, when I get me well when I get me when I get me sleeping bag off the dog. It was now curled up. Hey, hey, nugget. Hey, nugget. <laughs> but yes, it's 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 not a bad not a bad uh, afternoon at all. Don't go, don't go wind them yet. Won't be. See right across the scar fells from the end. Don't know there's water. You can see brother's water. That's the way to travel. Yes, I want one. Someone else to add to the wish list. I want to fly too. Please, Jane, let me have one. Let me go fly. Mm, great stuff. Great stuff. Hey, they've earned it. They've had to pump the gear all the way up here to fly out. So, going on them. So, I think it's time for a tatley, as always. Dog hasn't left the tent. That's him, he'd be knackered. We've only walked about two and a half, three miles. Um, oh no, yes he is. He's alive! Just, he's alive! Oh, that's it, he's starting to shiver. Right, we'll see you later. So, um, Right, the tent of tents. Well, we're cooking in it. And as you can see, it's a bit of a nightmare, but it doesn't matter how big, small a tent I've got, it's always a nightmare. Um, there's no room at all in the porch bit. I mean, I haven't got that tight out, but. There's no room at all to cook in there. So you're either cooking outside or you're cooking inside. The wind's starting to pick up now. Um, so hopefully we'll get a bit, bit of a testing. But what I have noticed is these zip, the, it's the, the black zip, what they use for the hammocks. It's crap, that crap. So if you've got tension on the corners and you try and zip them up, um, they could easily pull apart. So I don't know. Um, there's plenty of room to sit up. Uh, there's plenty of room for your kit. There's plenty of room to go to sleep. 
I don't know. I just don't know. Um, I've basically got me mat from the centre towards the corner rather than corner to corner because I cannot, uh, it won't fit in. But we've still got a lovely night. So I'm just having a bit of uh, dried spag ball. Seriously guys, get a hold of this stuff, it's lovely. Cracking stuff. Um, just looking for me slippers. Oh, there they are over there, get me slippers on. Uh, chill out a bit. As you can see, headroom wise, I'm pushed against the, the back wall, or the side wall, uh, but headroom wise, there's plenty. Oh. Don't know what happened there. I think the thing just died. Right, I'm gonna have some bait. Well, we've got hail coming in, and the wind's up. But I wanted a bit of wind. Test the tent out. So we've got the wind. We've got a bit hail. Happy days. Another thing I've just actually had a little thought about about the tent and um, the way I've put it up. So I've been out and I've redone the corners and to be honest it's sitting spot on. So I'm a little bit happy about it now. I'm still packing my gear up just in case I have to make a dash down the car. It's only a couple of miles down the car but I'm sure it'll be alright. It seems to be standing well. Like you see the wind's starting to pick up there now. We've got uh, gusts in and out of 10, 15 miles an hour. Um, I'm just going to check. But no, it seems to be alright. So I'm a happier bunny than what I was. Come back in three hours. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm just having a little a little tidy up getting all these bits and pieces together there's the dog there bless him um but yeah it's 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 spot on I'm, I'm quite happy at this moment in time oh look at that that's heel Seems to be going right down the valley, but not actually hitting me as yet. Oh. See, now I don't know what you can see. Oh, it doesn't clear. I'm not going to be able to get any night shots. Not hail. Hail came, but the mist just rolled in. And now I've got room to put me cooking gear. You still couldn't cook out there, like, but cooking gear, set of boots. Um, so yes. So I think it was the way I put it up. But it was the first time I've put it up. So uh, there you go. Right. So we'll hopefully. Hopefully we'll get um, some night shots, you never know, I um, wasn't expecting this like it was supposed to be a clear night, and if the wind picks up I'll bring you back to see how it's getting on, but uh, I don't think there'll be any problems.
I'm quite uh, positive about it now. Well, good morning folks, as you can see, it is a stunning, stunning morning. Oh. But, it was ballistic last night, I mean ballistic, ballistic. Um, Poor dog. Freezing, weren't you? You're freezing. Right, my thoughts on this. Super light pyramid top tent. If you are six foot or over, nah, it's not big enough. I was asleep. If you want to, you, you can't sleep in it, but you you shoved right up to the to the nylon, and obviously this is all frozen. You see it? It's all frozen, and you would have had that in your face all night. I basically had my feet sticking out the end of the inner tent. Um, it's all right, room size, sitting up, cooking, plenty of room for, room for gear, as you can see, but. Nah, it's just too small, it's just too small, but I'm a stubborn old man and I'm going to persevere with it. Um, I'm going to see what I can do with it because I love the fact that it just, it's just so simple to put up. And it, it stood up to the the wind, we had some strong winds last night, we had rain, hail, and now we've got a beautiful day. So I'm going to get the kettle on, make a cup of tea, have some breakfast and then just chill out, take me time, pack up and head down the hill. Look at that man, wow, that's beautiful. And I did eventually get some night shots for my new LX100. Um, the look all right. Okie dokie, we'll see you later, won't we? See you, we'll see you later. Well, apart from it looking like the hat out of Harry Potter, what he had to put on, the witch's hat thing. Um, hey, I'm still alive. It kept us dry, kept us out of the wind. Like I say, I need to persevere a little bit and have a mess about with it. I mean, might what, what what might have happened is the the, uh, the pool might have come down slightly in the middle of the night because it all seems to be a bit buggy there now. But hey, it's not about the it's not about the sleeping experience when you're getting on the hill. It's about that. That's what it's about. Them views. Beautiful.
Well, from a lovely Stony Cove pike on a beautiful morning, I'm going to say my farewells and we will see you on the next one, which hopefully shouldn't be too long. I've got about five days off um, in about a week, two weeks, so I'm going to hopefully try and get up and get out for a few days and have a bit of a wander rather than just an overnight and a half, two or three nights. Um, and from the Mad Dog, wherever he is, there he is. He's not coming back to this tropical because he's a night he's a total nightmare. Total nightmare. Hogging all the blankets and everything. Right guys, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Cheerio.